Have you ever heard of something called a rib fault? Well, I never heard of the phrase. I know what it is, obviously, right? And here's a sketch of it. And it is something that I did a tutorial on years and years and years ago. And I did it in a quite complicated way, actually. And I have been thinking about it and I found a new way to do it, which is way, way easier. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video, right? So let's uh, jump into Maya and uh, yeah, we'll dive in, here we go. All right, well, we're in Maya, as you can see, and we're gonna start off by creating a polygon sphere right there, right? I'm just gonna leave it at the default subdivision level and I'm gonna right click, go to face, drag, select, and delete half of that entire sphere, right? Okay, so what's next? So we're gonna jump to the top here, right? And I'm going to select exactly one quarter of that half sphere. So I'm going to right click at a face. I'm going to drag, select. I'm going to get in here and try to get all of them. And hopefully that works almost. Yeah, one more. There you go. And now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my perspective mode. All right. And I'm going to hit uh, control E to extrude. And I'm going to hit W, and you can see that this is not the angle that I want, but that's fine. We're going to jump to the top view, and I know for a fact that this uh, grid point right here is in line with that one, right? So what I'm going to do is with a W selected to move, I'm going to hold down X, and I'm going to snap it right there. So now I know that this is perfectly at a 45 degree angle, right? Okay, cool. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the rest of my half circle or half dome here, right? So I'm going to drag select, get rid of all of these faces, and then do the same at this end. Oh, make sure I just only have this, yeah. And make sure we got a clean angle right there, and we do. And I don't need this, so I'm going to drive in here and get rid of those as well. All right, cool. So now that we have that, what I want to do is I want to move my pivot point to this uh, grid crossing, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and um, go to object mode, right? And hit W and actually I'm in luck because my pivot point is already there. Uh, if it wasn't the case, I would have to move it and I would do that by hitting the insert key, right? But it is, so we're all good. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate, uh, uh, hit E, and then we're gonna hold down J, and we're gonna flip it over once like so, and then we're gonna hit Shift D and Shift D. So now we have four of these sections, okay? And if we look underneath here, it's kind of hard to see because we didn't extrude it yet, we will have that rib vault that we're looking for. Now, first, what I want to do is I want to clean it up a little bit, right? So I'm going to jump to the top and I'm going to make sure that those vertices are merged because that is something you have to do. So we're going to select all of them. We're going to go to Mesh and Combine. That's kind of mandatory. Otherwise, you can't merge them, right? We're going to go to Vertex and I'm going to drag select all of these vertices. So all of these, right? We're going to go to edit mesh and merge they have it so now they're all connected and we got one object now i got these pointy things going on here that's something i don't really need just yet so i'm going to fix that as well and how we're going to do that we're going to select the whole thing hit e to rotate hold on j and now we can make it kind of like a cross like that right i'm going to jump into my modeling toolkit up here i'm going to go to the multi-cut tool and I'm going to hold down my shift key and pretty much somewhere up here and here and here. I'm just going to draw a couple of straight lines, right? Okay, hit Q on the keyboard. We're going to go to face. I'm going to delete these, those as well. Delete these, these, and these. And of course, because I placed random lines, they're not all the same length. So what I do next is go to vertex, drag select all of them, 
hit W, hold down X and snap it to the grid, snap it to the grid, and snap it to the grid. And now that it's even everywhere, it's time to give it some thickness. So now I can go in, hit Control E to extrude, and let's say we're gonna do 0.3 maybe. And you'll get a perfectly clean looking rib vault, right? That's how easy that is. And then you can connect multiple if you like. Let's say you got some kind of cathedral going on or whatnot. You're gonna go in here, you are gonna uh, move your pivot point. So we're gonna hit the insert key. So hit W to move, hit your insert key. And then we're gonna hold down V and we're gonna snap it over there. Hit the insert key again. Control a D to duplicate, W to move, hold down X. And there you have it, that's once, and then Shift D, Shift D, for example. And then if you go in here, you would have that ceiling of your cathedral, right? And then you can go over and put another row on this side and, you know, just study examples and you'll be fine. So yeah, that's how you create a rib vault. Uh, short video, nevertheless, a pretty cool one, I think. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that sub button because that would make my day, right? Thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.